here now we will be talking about the or we will be making a chart which makes it easy to learn to remember and to see uh, in a glance that which are the diseases and uh, it is caused by which microorganism we know that microorganisms can be divided into certain groups like bacteria fungi viruses protozoa and we will be discussing in that manner only so a uh, chart of diseases in humans along with the microorganism first of all i am talking about the <coughs> name of the microorganism name of the microorganism i am writing in short or i am uh, writing mo or i will just write micro organism and name of the disease name of the disease now first of all i will take the i'll take some other chalk and i will write over here bacteria that means the diseases which are caused by the bacteria which are the diseases which are caused by the bacteria so there are many many diseases which are due to the bacteria so it can be leprosy tetanus tuberculosis i need to draw a line over here so it can be diphtheria it can be cholera all these diseases are caused by the bacteria i know there are many more diseases but if you write these many diseases also in the exam when it is asked in the question that explain or just write the names of the diseases caused by the bacteria so at least these diseases if you write you will be quite uh, it will be quite easy for you to score now uh, next i'll be talking about the viruses just now we have discussed the viruses and the diseases uh, which are there due to the viruses are mumps polio aids conjunctivitis cold okay again a uh, line i'll be drawing so these are the diseases which are due to the viruses again like uh, very normal diseases like cold okay and very dreadful disease like aids if we talk about even i can write many over here like chicken pox even swine flu i can write over here so all these diseases are due to the virus now 
I will talk about the fungi, what or which are the diseases which are due to the fungi. So, we have discussed this also like athletes athletes foot ringworm and even like eczema all these diseases are due to the fungi i am talking about the diseases just now i am talking only about the human beings now bacteria are responsible for which disease viruses are responsible for which disease fungi are responsible for which disease and now lastly i'll be talking about the protozoans if i talk about protozoa just now we were discussing about the malaria Uh, dengue, maybe sleeping sickness, so all these diseases are due to the protozoans. So even if you just read the chart once and twice you will, you will be able to write properly that which disease is caused by uh, which microorganisms as I am discussing about the diseases in human beings. Now I will be discussing about the diseases in animals. So diseases in animals. The same way the chart I will be continuing over here. I am just writing the name over here. This I will not be discussing in detail and, and as such the place is also limited over here now. First of all I will be talking about the bacteria and bacteria are responsible for the diseases like anthrax. So, anthrax is a very common disease in the uh, animals and even tuberculosis. Now, anthrax is the swelling of the organs and the milk uh, you know giving cap the, the capacity to yield or to give milk get reduced. Here I have discussed or I have written the names of the diseases or the microorganisms along with the diseases in humans and there I am writing about the uh, diseases which is commonly observed in the animals. There also first of all I have written about the bacteria, the anthrax and the tuberculosis. Now second one I will be writing about now here the uh, diseases are like somewhat same like bacteria are here also uh, are responsible for causing tuberculosis. Here also when we talk about in the animals the tuberculosis can be seen. Now here I will be talking about the uh, virus next and when we talk about the virus in animals the foot and the mouth diseases are very very common foot and mouth diseases. So, viruses are responsible for causing certain diseases which can be seen in the foot or the mouth. Now, next I have discussed about the fungi over here and here also I will be discussing about the fungi. So, aspergillosis is the very common disease which is found in the animals and this is due to the fungus. Here I am discussing about the diseases uh, which can be seen in the human beings and 
and the uh, animals. When we talk about the diseases like diphtheria, cholera, tuberculosis, tetanus and even the leprosy and even the uh, cholera, typhoid all these diseases are due to the bacteria. All these diseases are due to the bacteria. Now when we talk about the viruses, so just now also we have discussed that there are very like you know very common diseases and the one which we often suffer from like the cold, very often we suffer from cold. But there are certain diseases which are very very dangerous like AIDS, who is responsible for this? So definitely the viruses are responsible for such kind of diseases like mums, polio, AIDS, conjunctivitis, even the cold, chicken pox, swine flu and many more. Now when we talk about the fungi, fungi are responsible for cleats food, ringworm, eczema, and skin uh, diseases, many skin diseases. So these all are due to the fungi. When we talk about the protozoans, uh, as I gave one example about the plasmodium, the uh, this diseases like malaria, dengue, sleeping sickness, all these are due to the uh, which microorganism it is due to the protozoans. This whole chart is about the diseases uh, in the humans. Here I have written few diseases which are seen commonly in the animals. And the anthrax and tuberculosis again is caused by bacteria in animals. When we talk about the several diseases which can be seen on the mouth and the area are caused by the viruses and fungi are responsible for the disease like aspergillosis. So this is a chart which makes it very easy to understand, to learn, to see or to just have a glance all together that which are the diseases or which disease is caused by which microorganism. Now uh, this is just I have tried over here to write few important diseases. You can add many more diseases in this chart. Now we will be moving to the next topic, please note all this. Now we will be discussing about nitrogen fixation. What is the meaning of nitrogen fixation and in nature how this process occurs? Uh, does this process is completed only by one the bacteria or some other ways are also there? Or what is the effect or what is the use of this nitrogen fixation. So we will be discussing all this and so I am writing over here nitrogen fixation. What is the meaning of nitrogen fixation? The process of the process of conversion of nitrogen into its compounds mainly nitrates which can be consumed by the plants easily is known as nitrogen fixation. As we all know that the plants cannot absorb nitrogen directly in the form of nitrogen itself. It has to be in its compounds or some other forms that means the forms like the nitrates and then only it can be absorbed by the plants. So what is the meaning of nitrogen fixation? The process of conversion of nitrogen into its compound mainly nitrates which can be which 
which can be directly absorbed by the plants is called as nitrogen fixation. So, what is the meaning of nitrogen fixation? When the nitrogen, when the nitrogen get converted, when the nitrogen gets converted into nitrates which can be absorbed by the plants. This process is known as nitrogen fixation. We know that the plants cannot absorb directly nitrogen. It, it has to be converted and who is going to do this conversions? How it will be uh, converted? How this nitrogen which is present in the atmosphere and in the soil can be converted? Who will be doing this? So, first of all, we will be discussing that also. First of all, what is that nitrogen fixation? The process in which the nitrogen gets converted into its compounds. Which kind of compounds? The compounds which can be absorbed directly by the plants is known as nitrogen fixation. Now, what are the various means in which the or what are the what are the various processes or who are the one or which uh, are the various ways in which the nitrogen fixation or this process of nitrogen fixation completes. So, in the nature, in the nature nitrogen fixation also occurs due to lightning. In the nature nitrogen fixation, I will write full form only nitrogen fixation occurs due to lightning. We all know what is lightning. Now, what happens when the lightning occurs in the atmosphere? When the, when the lightning occurs in the sky, what happens? What uh, is the process of what actually is what actually happens that nitrogen get converted into its compound? So, during lightning, first of all, the temperature increases, right? During lightning, when the temperature is high, when the temperature is high. Now, when the temperature is high, the nitrogen combines with, okay, when the nitrogen, then nitrogen combines with oxygen and then the nitrogen oxide is formed or oxides of nitrogen are formed and along with the lightning when it rains along with the lightning when it rains these oxides get dissolved these oxides get dissolved in rain water it get dissolved in rain water and very very dilute nitric acid is formed h n o 3 is formed there is no place to write i have to write what I am writing when temperature is high, when temperature is high nitrogen combines with oxygen and oxide is formed. Nitrogen combines with oxygen and its oxide is formed. Now this oxide get dissolved in rain water, this oxide get dissolved in rain water. And when it get dissolved in rain water, then what will be formed? Very dilute HNO3 will be formed. Dilute HNO3 will be formed. 
Now when this HNO3 reacts with the alkali present in the earth, alkalis in the earth or in the soil, then nitrates are formed. Nitrates are formed. As there was no place, so I started writing over there. We are talking about the nitrogen fixation. What is the meaning of nitrogen fixation? The process in which the nitrogen gets converted into its compounds. Which kind of compounds? The compounds which can be absorbed by the plants. So, when this occurs, this process is known as nitrogen fixation. Now, in nature, this occurs during the lightning. When the thunder lightning takes place, when the lightning is there and along, you know, along with that even it rains. So, this process takes place. Which process is taking place? Nitrogen fixation is taking place. Nitrogen fixation takes place. Here also I have mentioned that nitrogen fixation takes place during lightning. When lightning takes place, the temperature increases, temperature rises and in this high temperature, the nitrogen combines with the oxygen. At this high temperature, nitrogen combines with the oxygen and the oxides are formed. And these oxides, we have, uh, we will be discussing this in detail in the chapter uh, metals and non-metals. How the oxides are formed and how oxides uh, reacts with water. So here oxides will be formed and this oxide will get dissolved in rain water. This oxides will get dissolved in rain water and very dilute HNO3 is formed. Now this HNO3 when it reaches the surface of the earth, this HNO3 when it reaches the surface of the earth, then what happens? The nitrates are formed. Now this nitrates can be absorbed by the plants directly. Now this nitrates can be absorbed by the plants. So this is how the nitrogen fixation takes place in the nature due to lightning. This is just the first point which I have discussed over here. We are talking about the process nitrogen fixation. Nitrogen fixation is what? When the nitrogen get converted into its compound which can be absorbed by the plants is known as nitrogen fixation. In nature, during lightning, the nitrogen fixation process takes place. What are the other ways or who is uh, responsible for the same thing that means the conversion of nitrogen to uh, its compound? We have discussed a bit earlier also when we were discussing about the bacteria and the algae. Few bacteria or few groups of the bacteria are responsible for the conversion of nitrogen to its compounds. When we talk about the leguminous family, when we, we, we are talking, when we talk about the plants like bees, beans, huh, not bees, bees is uh, an animal, uh, insect, sorry. So, when we talk about the beans, the pulses, pea, in the roots of these plants, certain swollen areas are there. In this swollen areas, the bacteria are there. Uh, like symbiotic bacteria, rhizobium, rhizobium is present. Now, what rhizobium is doing? Rhizobium has the capacity to convert the atmospheric nitrogen into the nitrates. And this nitrates can be absorbed by the plants from the soil. There are certain uh, algae also, blue green algae or the uh, certain algae like nostoc and anabena, which are also responsible for this nitrogen fixation. So, this is how the nitrogen fixation process takes place and the nitrogen becomes available for the plants in the which form in its compounds which can be readily absorbed by the plants. 
here I have written about the uh, nitrogen fixation which takes place in lightning. Now definitely I want to discuss about the second uh, which is done by the rhizobium bacteria and also by the blue green algae. But as there is uh, now I will have to rub this. So I will just rub and uh, then again we will be discussing about the rhizobium and the algae which are responsible for this nitrogen fixation in the uh, nature. And then we will be discussing about the nitrogen cycle. So uh, please note this and I will be continuing this we will be going to the second and the third uh, way how the nitrogen fixation takes place in the nature. Here we have discussed the first method that is lightning and now we will be discussing about the second like by rhizobium bacteria or the symbiotic bacteria rhizobium or there are certain another bacteria also which is responsible for the nitrogen fixation. Now this what this rhizobium bacteria is doing rhizobium bacteria also converts nitrogen into nitrates and is responsible for nitrogen fixation. Now along with this rhizobium bacteria which are present in the leguminous family or say example in the beans, in the pea or in the pulses roots. The bacteria which are present in the leguminous family in the roots, these bacteria have the capacity to convert the atmospheric nitrogen into the, they convert this atmospheric nitrogen, atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates. They convert atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates. That means they again are responsible for nitrogen fixation. Now, along with this, there are certain blue green algae. There are certain blue green algae. These blue green algae are also responsible for nitrogen fixation. These blue green algae like nostoc and anabena these kind of blue green algae is also responsible for nitrogen fixation now where nitrogen fixation now when the nitrogen fixation is done either by the bacteria or by the blue green algae. When the nitrogen fixation in the nature is done by the bacteria or, or the algae, then this nitrogen fixation is known as biological fixation. Then this is known as biological fixation. So, we can say that the rhizobium or certain bacteria, I can put this in the brackets. So, bacteria, certain bacteria and blue green algae are responsible for nitrogen fixation. What is the meaning of nitrogen fixation? The conversion of nitrogen into nitrates. That means during the lightning also the nitrogen gets converted into the nitrates. How it is getting converted? The temperature is very high, nitrogen reacts with the oxygen, its oxides are formed, oxides dissolve in the rainwater and the very dilute acid is formed. These, these acids or this acid when reacts with the alkalis which are present inside the soil, then what will be happening? Then uh, the nitrates will be formed. And it will remain in the soil and it can be absorbed by the plants. Now, along with this, there are certain bacteria and certain blue green algae 
which are responsible for the nitrogen fixation again what is the meaning of nitrogen fixation that means i am saying certain bacteria and certain blue green algae are responsible for converting nitrogen into nitrates that means there are certain bacteria and blue green algae which are responsible for biological fixation do not get confused in this word biological fixation when the process of nitrogen fixation is done or when the nitrogen fixation or when the nitrogen is fixed by the bacteria or blue green algae then it is known as biological fixation so these are the various ways how the nitrogen fixation takes place in the atmosphere these blue green algae can be mainly seen in the paddy fields rise i'm talking about so this can be seen or found in the uh, rice fields so these are the various ways how in the atmosphere nitrogen fixation takes place we have read about the uh, nitrification ammonification previously also previously in that means in the of previous chapter we have discussed when we were discussing about the uses of the bacteria we have discussed about the nitrification about the ammonification also why i am saying this now because now we will be discussing about the nitrogen cycle now this is the uh, almost like a connecting part of this nitrogen fixation and so it will be easy to understand if we understand the meaning of the nitrogen fixation and few more things so again while discussing the uh, nitrogen cycle we'll be discussing all those points also so please note this and now we will discuss about the nitrogen cycle uh, please note these points 